Okay, I got a couple things going today in today's video. We just got through uh, one of the coldest spells we've had um, for months. So this last week, week and a half, didn't get much done. Today I want to get these Mini Cooper front hubs. They have a four on 100 volt pattern. I want them to get to fit my um, ATV wheels. So I made this on the uh, AutoCAD. It's got the pattern for the this hub and a pattern for the wheel. So you line everything up, punch it, and drill it, and tap it. So that's one of the projects. Uh, I don't know if I'll get much further than that on the buggy today. Also, I want to look at this. This here is a, um, I'm not sure what year it was made. Late 40s, early 50s. But the tank on it is the same construction, probably the same manufacturer as the uh, oxygen tanks on the World War II aircraft. The B-52 bomber and other ones. Anyway, so I look at that tank. So let's get going on this. All right, let's mark this hub and go to town. Okay, let's see if this will fit the wheel. I know that's a bad shot, but uh, I don't have a camera up on the ceiling. So we'll just, we'll just see what we got here. And I'll just let you know, okay? I'll just let you know how it's going over here. So I drilled these out to 3 8 just because that's the, the bit I had. I had a 3 8 font uh, bit, no. What do you call it? Tap. I had a 3 8 tap and I had some 3 8 bolts that fit. So that's what I went for. On the uh, quad, I think it was a 10 millimeter. So I just went with what I had. I had the bolts and I had the tap. So it looks like it'll fit. So I'll show you. Show you what that looks like. Well, you could imagine, I'm sure, but check this out. Okay, so we got them in there. So that's pretty cool. So with these hubs, now I, and I, I did the other one off camera. So I got two patterns now. I got uh, the four by 100, which is so close to four inch 
uh, four by four inch. So I'll be able to use that pattern for the golf cart tires, golf cart wheels. And then I got this new pattern. I don't even know what it is. I just, I just copied it off the, the hub. Now I moved the pattern over a little bit because on this stop stock um, mini, mini Cooper hub, it has this added hole. I think that's the hole, the disc onto the hub. Anyway, so I, I moved the pattern over to there. So that's why we're not centered here because of this extra hole. So now I got two sets and uh, that should work on a lot of different wheels that I'm gonna wanna run, so. So that's, that's a good step, that step's done. All right, let's look at this cute little uh, air compressor. I, I bought it for the tank, the guy said it worked fine and I never plugged it in because it really didn't matter to me, so um, let's uh, let's plug this thing in and and see if it works. First thing I gotta do is find an extension cord. Maybe there's one. There we go. Okay. I don't know if it has an on-off switch. Looks like it has some fine wiring, so I'm just gonna plug it in, see what happens, and. Uh, We'll all learn together what happens. Let's see if that'll work. We got a hose and we got a valve on here too. Look at that valve work. Oh yeah, it works. We're uh, leaking out of this thing somewhere. Oh yeah, we're leaking at the end. So the valve works. Better off for now. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do better than that. Oh, it's going up though. It's got a little uh, badge on here. I'd like to see what that says. Oh, actually, maybe the badge is gone. Is that just blue? That might just be a little blue. Yeah, I know. I don't. Yeah, I think the badge fell off. Yeah, so there was a badge at one time right there. What is it? It's a Hoover! Look at that, huh? The Hoover Company. Gotta figure out where my camera's at. So, it's going to town. Woo-hoo! Look at that! 55 almost. That'd be good for pumping up tires, maybe. It's a cute little pump. I think the one over there I got will do me though. Okay, tank hasn't blown up yet. That's good. Um, huh. Yeah, we'll see how high it goes before it shuts off. Should we do that? I need a flat tire to pump up. Well, that one's a little flat. Yeah, that one's flat a little bit. Let's see if we can't put some air in that tire right there. Like, uh, whoa, it's going up there. Look at it. Over a hundred. That is over a hundred. Doing its work. Let's see what we got down here. See that? 
it's gonna blow 120 close to 120 we'll see what happens next what is that thing is that a pressure relief maybe and she shut down let's see what temp what uh, pressure we get look at that it works just fine so that's 20 what is that 160 so about 130 130 and she shut off not bad okay i think that's a good enough tank for uh for fuel if you look at the tank, the original color is this yellow. If you look at the uh, the tanks and the airplanes, the World War II airplanes, B-52 bombers and other ones, I'm not sure which ones, they're that yellow color. So my guess is that the this tank came from the same supplier or there was surplus. I would think it's the same supplier, but uh, I need to do a little research. So I'm gonna let some pressure out, and we'll see uh, see if that kicks back on with that. Uh, see what if it kicks back on. So let's get something to get the pressure out of here. Got some really uh, fancy wiring there. Yeah, looks like I might have wired it. Okay, so. There it is. We're going to, um, yeah, it's dropping down a little bit. The hose quit leaking, so I think it's just this fitting on the end. So I'm just going to try to release it here. We'll see what happens. There we go. It's taking off. So it starts back up at about 100. So, seems to work. Just like the guy told me. 75 bucks. I paid 75 bucks for this. All right, let's tear it apart. We need to take some fittings off. Get that bracket off. Do that next, maybe. Should we do that next? Now I gotta work in the water. I don't want to work in the water. tank off cleaned it up a little bit found some numbers on here not sure what they mean almost looks like that's an F um, it looks like we got F six two zero seven zero six not sure what any of that means Unless it's a year, 62, 
seventh month, sixth day. I'm not sure. There's a couple markings on the side here. Not sure what they mean either. Probably the guy that welded it, maybe. A Y and a U and a... I don't know if it's a big zero. Anyway, it's a cute little tank. Glad I have it. It's the uh, it's the only one that I've ever seen my whole life. So I'm glad that I own it. Um, some original paint. This would have been underneath the motor plate. So my guess is that when they bought these tanks, they were coated with that color. And then if you look at it where the top was welded on, that color was there when it was welded because it's burnt. See that? So yellow tank. And then when they were done, they painted it, painted it red. So it's a pretty cool tank. Really light. I think it's stainless. It's got uh, it's got two fittings, one on each end. And from the studying I did, I think these bands. They allow it to have higher pressure, or I think it said anti-burst on one of the things I looked at. And you look at the all the bands have been welded. There's little welds all the way along, like a spot weld. Looks like these bands were put on when they were halves, and then they were brought together, and the two sections were welded together. It looks like to me, anyway. Well, let's find a tape measure. And see what kind of, kind of measurements it is. About 11 by 22. How, hold, how much it holds? I'm not sure. I'm guessing more than 5, less than 10. So, um, Anyway, pretty cool. So there it is. Put it on my shelf of junk. It might end up on uh, my Model A here. This is a, uh, the cowl in the hood is like a 31, 30, 30, 31, and the rest is homemade. But it might end up living on here. But then again, it might not. I just had to have it because it was the first one I'd ever seen my whole life. So, a little history on this Model A. I, Something I've been piecing together. The, uh, the cowl here, this piece here with the gas tank, was on a car my dad had bought, and my brother had, and then I had. I actually drove it in high school. The rest is not original. So it might end up on this vehicle, or again, it might not. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be pretty good if I just kind of slipped in the bud, the mud right now. <laughs> Here's a few images I nabstered off of the internet. The first picture shows these tanks mounted up in an airplane, and then this set, this one here shows one that was for sale on eBay. It's interesting the the writing on it, non shatterable. Looks looks like they were available on many different airplanes. Mentions the the B seventeen, the B twenty five, and the B twenty four. I also saw it on maybe a Spitfire and other ones. So that's all I got for a video this week. Didn't do much uh, of anything in the shop as far as uh, personal jobs. I had a few custom orders I had to get out, and that was about it. Just kind of tried to stay warm this week. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.